end of this year, December, we mark uh, 40 years I've been around here. When people like us came onto the scene, there really wasn't an art industry in place. I first stepped into this National Theatre space December 1982. That was the year I finished my national service. My professional life you know, has its roots here because I was employed first as a, uh, a civil servant. So it was only common for us to finish studying art in the higher institution, you know, and get employment, you know, have a steady income. But uh, the acquisition of that knowledge put into practical use um, wasn't there. Uh, I think it was the limit of understanding of what it could contribute to national development because uh, that. It's with all modesty that we claim to be one of the pillars of the foundation, you know, because uh, you know, the artists had always been seen within that narrow prism of somebody who was basically an entertainer. Because I know some of our seniors who, when they shared the knowledge at home, to their parents and their guardians that they were going to study arts in the 60s and like what they encountered. I know of a person whose father was his aunt of his education. It's changing today. Um, art has opened doors for, for me too. I've met people I probably wouldn't have dreamt of meeting in the past and it's taken us, you know, around the world. Sometimes it's quite pleasing, you know, it's probably more pleasing than being paid, you know, that people reckon with what you're doing. They pay you so much respect. In fact, to some extent, it's almost like a homage, you know, and I'm, I'm still not used to it. Sometimes I find it a bit embarrassing. Funny enough, I've been at, I've been at, sometime in the past, I've been at public events and people were discussing me. They didn't even know that was the person beside them. And it gave me an insight into how people feel about what I do, about my brand, and, uh, they almost look at you as if you are superhuman and you'll be wondering how, how do you maintain that? How do you even surpass whatever you, you've achieved up to this point? So it's it, depending on how you take it. And I say, okay, yeah. Because I have people I look up to. We have those masters uh, who have uh, achieved some timelessness. Talking of the height of it, Benewon, Yusuf Grillo, who I was privileged to pass through. The Olaku was unknown at the time. We all start out anonymous, you know. Um, it takes time. Today we, we say that it is the journey is uh, like a marathon. It's not something. It's not a, a, a point you get to overnight. And it's one of the things we try to push to the young ones. Look to establish a veritable brand. It's not. It's not a sprint. It takes time because you know people only interact with you when they understand the relevance of what you're doing, the fundamental importance of what you have to contribute to uh, national activities. Every artist who became successful at, you know, at the end of the day would have a story to tell of those dark early days when sometimes things were so, so discouraging, almost despondent. We let you just trudge on, and uh, one day you get to the uh, light at the end of the tunnel. Still, it doesn't end there. You continue because it gets to a point. You know, I always say that getting that to that point, that point of recognition, that relevance, is hard in itself. But to maintain it and grow, grow it further, is even more difficult because um, all the years you put in, if, if not well managed, things could just happen and then. Uh, Thank <laughs> you.